Hey guys, welcome back to another OK Matty Ice video in 7 Days to Die. Today we're doing a challenge. You might notice here that we have the nail gun. Well, I was thinking once upon a time, I had actually spawned into a uh, play, and one of the first items I came across was the nail gun. Now this was like Alpha 9, 18 or 19, I can't remember now, but it was before they really started balancing out loot stuff and you actually had a chance to randomly get something so i decided i wanted to relive those days and see if i could do um at least a horde defense at a poi only using the nail gun now i know you're probably saying you're insane that is the dumbest thing i've ever heard of but i honestly don't even know what the nail gun will do damage wise to a zombie so I figured we'll run around, we'll find a zombie. I'm not going in there, that's a death trap. Especially, I mean, I haven't given myself any points besides the ones I got for doing the entry-level quests. And I put those into, let's see, I think I put one into Minor 69er. Cause I thought maybe that would affect how the nail gun performs. I put one into Rule 1 Cardiel. I didn't put anything into Fortitude. I put one into intellect, and then I put one into advanced engineering. The idea of this playthrough is I can't use any melee weapons or anything else. I am strictly using a nail gun and nails. Now, I gave myself a stack of a thousand to get started, but I did uh, unlock the uh, engineering level one so I can make a forge. Once you have a forge, I believe you can make nails. So all I'll need to make nails, well that's unfortunate, we got the wasteland right there, is actually just a, come here, wow, this thing doesn't have any ADS, so I'm, ooh, we got him, come here you son of a bitch. Got him, <laughs> got him, <laughs> dang, and I haven't messed with, um, the damage level on this or anything, I was like, I'm just gonna see how the nail gun does. I didn't even know if it would have enough damage to take something down. Well, we're gonna find out, guys. Here's our first contestant on Let's Get Nailed. Ooh, if we can hit him. Oh, I got one hit on him. Come on. Ooh, rapid fire's not bad. A little bit wild. Ooh, we got him down. I don't know how much damage we're actually doing to him. Oh, we got him. Uh, by the way, I cranked the diff or the XP up to 300% because seriously, I'm out here fighting these guys with nails and I don't know if a thousand's enough right now. And I, I left them at their normal speed and everything. I didn't crank that up, but this is, uh, I believe, Nomad difficulty. So let's just keep running by all this stuff. Maybe we should gather some iron while we're at it. Um, I probably need to make a shovel, too. I don't think I've done that. And I can make a tier 2? Yeah. Because I'm going to have to get a whole bunch of clay. Oh, we got another contestant, guys. Let's see if we can get some headshots on her. Wow, this thing fires quite erratic. At least it doesn't use stamina. I mean, I can just walk away from her all day. I'm just going to run out of nails eventually. Make a little distance. Where'd you go? There you are. Wow. Like I said, this thing is crazy all over the place. I'm like aiming at her head. And I'm just not hitting. Wow, when you got him on the ground, it's pretty easy to hit him. Okay, so it takes quite a few nails to uh, take him down. I have no idea what type of damage we're doing, but... Doesn't look like it's very good damage. Third guy down. Um, it seems like the best policy with the nail gun is just to start dumping it into him as soon as you see him. Uh, yeah, if you get him on the ground, it's not too bad. You can get a lot of easy shots. Nice headshot. Oh, 
say it seems like the ticket here is to aim like right at their stomach and then wait till they go down and get a good shot into their head oh good job guys we found trader jen that's a good get working with fire what do we got in here the gunpowder it'll be nice if we can do upgrades right away too have to wait around. Ooh, bicycle chassis. That's a good one. A little bit of glue. That's always worthwhile. All right, bird nest. A couple feathers. I don't really need those, but we'll just take them. Ooh, that is okay. I don't think I've ever gotten a magnum schematic that quickly. All right, over here. What's in your forge? Just some wood. Thing over there. Cement mixer back here still? Sure is. Bit of sand. Uh, destroyed, okay. Jar, good deal. Ooh, nails, thank god, we can use those. Well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? What All right. get you? We're not gonna do any jobs for Jen. We're just going to worry about... Ooh, she's got nails. So let's sell some things. 382. That means we can buy all of her nails. Right? Yeah. There we go. She restocked us on nails. It would probably be beneficial to have more first aid bandages, too. We can buy one of those, and then we only got 30 coins left. I hope you come back and see me sometime. Oh, we sure will, Jen. Let's mark her on our map. Okay. There's Jen. We gotta get cooking here. We gotta find ourselves some place to live. So we can fight a horde. Ooh, he's mad. We better get some separation going. fan of what we were doing there guys all right I have no idea where I'm going or what I'm doing right now so I'm just gonna head over this way because I saw that town kind of off in the distance no idea which one it is got a couple stones along the way if we see any iron we can pick that up too Ooh, man. He did not like getting hit by those nails. He, like, flew at me. My god. Ooh, vitamins. Nice. Hey, there we go. Oh, I did not just scrap those. I was gonna say, I wanna wear those, please. Scrap these. Alright. Look at that. We got some nice scrap gloves now. Fine, we're quickly burning through that stack of a thousand that I allotted myself to start with. Ooh, another blunk. Craft puffer job. Craft puffer puffer. Ooh, man, I can't talk. Coats. Ooh, level up, nice. Now this is gonna be interesting. How many nails do you think this guy's gonna take?
Wow. That was a crazy amount of nails. I wish we could see them sticking out of them. That would be cool. We're going to go in this house right here and raid this in just a second because it's getting close to nighttime. And we don't have really many options at this point. Alright, let's get out the nail gun and head in here. Let's see what we can find. Looks like we're going to have some cloth, actually. Well, it's pretty empty so far. That's a good thing. Ooh, leather. Nice. We need leather. Since we have a nail gun, we can actually repair that. Ooh, short iron pipes. Is that enough to make the forge, actually? Um, I need two more duct tape, and then I need ten leather. Okay. So we just have to, I think we just have to look for cloth, honestly, which is everywhere in here. Alright, let's head upstairs. There wasn't too much on that first floor. Alright, got at least one right here. Ooh, you got a good hit on me. Let's jerk him around a little bit. Maybe we can trick him. Got him. Alright, I heard another one outside. Okay, took him down. Figured, let's seal this up a little bit and we'll use this as our base operations. Uh, actually, we're probably better off just to wall this off. Let's put a... Let's get a couple frame shapes. Uh, let's make like 50. Alright guys, let's come up here and see what we got. Ooh, we might get some clothes. Oh, there we go. I'll wear that. Got a pair of shoes, we'll wear those as well. Oh, baseball cap, definitely wear that. Take those, ooh, all good stuff right there. More cloth, okay. Oh, a full auto mod. That is such strange loot early on. Now we get a single nail. So this big giant gaping hole right here. We'll just take apart this bed. We probably won't be using this room, so I'll just wall this off. Although we do need a little bit of space, who knows?
Ooh, that's a good find. Leather poncho. Nice. Wow, look at us guys. We look like a real, a real piece of work. My goodness. Saw that rabbit. I saw that rabbit run through the house and I was like, I better harvest him up. He doesn't know where I am. Alright, we're pretty much secure right now, so I'm just going to go upstairs because it's nighttime. I'm going to make a door and put it on here. And we should be pretty safe in here as long as we don't make a ton of noise. We're also going to need to make a storage chest. I like the door to be out that way. There we go. And, ooh, let's break down this stuff too. So we can have a little bit of room in here because we need to make that forge now. We should have enough of everything. Let's see, forge. There we go. 30 seconds. And then let's make a secure storage chest. Put in the closet. Why not? That seems like a brilliant idea. And then we'll leave our little storage chest. Uh, let's put it over here. All right, let's put away some stuff. All right, guys, and I was right. All you really need is iron and clay to make a nail, and it looks like it's a one-to-one. -one. So, looks like we're going to be able to keep ourselves reasonably supplied as long as I keep our clay and our iron production up, which shouldn't be too hard. Um, can you burn feathers, maybe? Yeah, we'll get rid of those. More stuff I don't need. Put those down in my toolbar. I'm still a little bit hurt. should probably use a bandage. Hey, we can make the cooking pot and the cooking grill. Uh, let's actually get both of those. I know that's going to tap into our supply of iron, but we need to uh, actually get those so we can make stuff. I was going to say, can we actually make boiled meat now? Or do we need Master Chef? We need Master Chef for that. Okay. But we can make our boiled water. That's not a problem. And we can make grilled meat, I believe. No, we need Master Chef for that as well. Now, I do have two points available. Um, you know, let's get that one point in iron gut. That's going to help us. We already have one into pain tolerance. We could still work. I mean, I don't need the workbench right now. Don't need lucky loot or any of these. Now, let's get Master Chef. We need to eat. I hate to invest points into there, but we can do, I think, bacon and eggs now as well. See, we got 40 seconds on that. Perfect. We'll have some bacon and eggs ready for us. All right, guys, we'll pick it up tomorrow morning and show you guys what's going on. Got a lot done today, but we got a lot more progress to make before we're going to make it to a horde night. 